Eus bilah ne şeytan rejim bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Estur. Elhamdülillahi rabbil alamin. We are thanking our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us another Juma, another holy day. Another blessed day for us to worship him and to remember him in these very dark days, in these very confused days, in these days of sorrow that he has granted us still this Iman and he has granted us our Shaykh and granted this Jamaat and for us to pull ourselves away from that confusion everywhere and to worship Allah and to live simple lifestyle. That is a gift that is already a karamat. You're looking for a karamat? That is already a karamat. That in these days when the whole world is chasing after this dunya, they are looking for things to satisfy their ego. And in that looking to satisfy the ego, they destroy everything. And you have evil powers behind that is playing with the people, that is playing with everything that the people know to keep them always in a state of confusion, to keep them always in a state of darkness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has pulled us away from that confusion and that darkness to the top of these mountains. How much we should thank Him. If you're not living on top of those mountains and you're watching us, already you have pulled yourself away from that confusion because you wish to be here, you wish to be with our Shaykh, you wish to live a simple lifestyle, but your hands are tied maybe at this time. That is already a karamat too because this world is pulling everyone and is pulling. Uh, the believers and the unbelievers is pulling the Muslims, the Christians and the Jews the Buddhists whoever it is not to follow the footsteps of their prophets not to have a clear idea of what this world is giving and where this world is heading but now majority of the Imams, the priests and the rabbis, they're only concentrating on this dunya and they're fighting for this dunya and they're not understanding and they're not believing that the Ahirat, it is right in front of us. That at any time Azrael, the angel of death, can come knocking and take our life away that we are a prisoner between two breaths. There's confusion everywhere. And there is violence everywhere. Definitely. As believers, are we surprised? We're not surprised. Because number one, believers did not come into this world. Believers are not living in this world to make this world into a paradise. It is not to turn this world into a hell either. Those ones who want to turn this world into a paradise for themselves, only looking to satisfy their ego, they are turning this world not into a paradise. They are turning this world into a hell. But the believers that Holy Prophet is saying, this world is a prison for the believers. And for the unbelievers, this world is a paradise. Yes. Because to the believers, this world is a prison. So we are here understanding that this world is a prison, that we are prisoner between two breaths, that we are sent into this world not to turn this world into our home, that we are going to live in it forever. We may marry, we have children, we have things that this world is throwing into our hands, but it is important not to put it into our heart. The heart is the throne of Allah. Once we put it into our heart, then there's a time when we start to worship. 
Once we start to worship, we say we don't want to finish from this world. We don't want to die. We don't want to leave our loved ones. We don't want to leave our cats, our dogs, these 21st century foolish ones. They love their cats and their dogs more than their family members because they have fallen and they have sunk to those animal levels. They don't know how to deal with humans anymore. How are you going to deal with humans? If you are concentrating only on satisfying your ego, how can the ego live with another one? The ego that time says, this world is not big enough for me. For one, how am I going to have it? For two, for three, for one billion, for seven billion. It is too small. But the spirit, the spirit is going to understand that this world is a prison. And we're just going to live in this world simple, the way that the prophets, they taught us. Because our home, our original home is paradise. And that is the time you're going to go around looking for the people of paradise. You're going to go around looking for the people that were from your original home, your real brothers and your real sisters. Not those ones that you are sharing by blood, but those ones that the Holy Quran is saying, only the believers, they are brothers. And you start looking, where is my family? I'm looking at my family. I may have my father's nose, my mother's eyes, my, but our spirit are completely different. Of course, to be uh, descending from the flesh and the blood of your father and your mother is something else. But to share someone's spirit is something else. So, that is important now to understand. Because if we start looking for the people of paradise, the people of your original home, your real brothers that were there with you. And if you find them, no matter where you are, no matter how far away you are, when you come together, you start to feel the feeling of paradise. You start to feel familiarity. It starts to take you away from this world, away from the problems of this world, away from the cares of this world, away from the tricks and the traps of this world. Then you start understanding, yes, this world is nothing but an illusion and a delusion. This world is nothing but a trick and a trap for the believer. We still live carry our responsibilities but we are only going to put Allah and His Prophet and those ones who are in his, his inheritors the friends of Allah the shaykhs and the murshids those who have completely drowned themselves in the love of the Holy Prophet والسلام, that they already drowned themselves in the Divine Presence we put those ones in our heart and we feel peace that is a time when even if the whole world is turning upside down, the whole world is turning into a hell, we will have peace. Because we are not looking to this world to provide peace. This world is not peace. Peace comes with the people of paradise. And the people of paradise have Islam. They have Allah and His Prophet in their hearts. You will find peace only with those ones. You may go around with the others. You may have some fun. You may laugh a little bit, but the sorrow quickly enters into the heart because it is empty. If something is empty, it's going to pull something else. They say in nature, nature, there is no vacuum in nature. Nature hates a vacuum, they say. When something is empty, it cannot be empty. There has to be something to replace it. When you're going around with the people of the dunya and their hearts, are filled with the dunya, meaning their hearts are empty from Allah and from faith. And when you hang around with them too much, they're going to take away that nur, that light from you, that faith from you. And you're going to go away from them after a few minutes, completely tired, completely drained, feeling that, what did I do? I didn't do anything, but I feel so heavy. When you sit in the presence of the people of Ahirat, the people of Paradise, the Shaykhs and the Murshids and the Salihin, yes, that time there's going to be peace. 
peace is not showing that you're laughing and you're joking and you're acting like a clown. There's not peace. That's all the show. Because when you have real peace, you don't have to show to no one nothing. But this feeling, this reality inside of you, you cannot even contain it. And you need to spread it. But it's not through a show. That time when you sit with those people of paradise, you won't see people fighting with each other. They're not even going to raise their voices with each other. They're going to sit nice and comfortable. They can sit, not for 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour, two hours, three hours. They may sit, they may sit the whole night. Because now, Rahmat is raining. Now, they are connecting their hearts to that one. And because that one's heart has only Allah and His Prophet, it takes you away from this world. Then your spirit gets more and more satisfied. Go out into this world. Your spirit is in prison. Go out to this world and understand the dangers. Understand the tricks of this world. Understand also the confusion of this world. Don't look at what is happening on television, on the newspaper, everywhere. Eh? And say, oh, that is what happened. 100%. Because they're putting it on paper, so we have to believe. Because someone typed it on paper, we have to believe. Because it's on paper, don't you know? Huh. That one completely has no intelligence. That one completely has no intelligence how this world works. Yes. If you're concentrating on your ego, you understand your ego. You understand others' egos. You understand the tricks and the traps of shaitan. The ego, dunya and the desires. That time, you will not be fooled. Because so many ha things happen. But there are plans behind plans. There are secrets behind secrets. It may look as if it is what it is over there. Oh, but you don't know the games behind the games, behind the games that people are playing. So, the believer must be intelligent. and must sit and he must wait. And must be patient and must try to understand. What is the reality that is in front of us? Inshallah, Rahman. That way, we can be those ones that Holy Prophet is saying. That, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, hmm? be careful from the vision of a believer. Because he looks with the nur of Allah. Because Holy Prophet does not say anything that Allah is not commanding him to say. He doesn't speak from his own nafs. He speaks only with the permission and he speaks with the knowledge that Allah has given him. Inshallah Rahman, we are following those ones who are following in his footsteps. May Allah forgive us. May Allah protect us. May Allah open our way. May Allah make it easy for the believers. And may Allah wake up the rest of the world to understand the danger that we are living in. That we are living in the time of sorrow because we are living completely in the time of Dajjal. May Allah raise the station of our Shaykh higher and higher and to grant us more protection and more himmat from Him. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha.